It's nerf or nothing. What's going on ladies and gents, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, Joker back again, once again. So, Luna's Hell and Not Forgotten are getting the nerf hammer. I really, unlike others, don't have a long and drawn out opinion on this. Do I think that the nerf could be a little too heavy handed? Probably, and we'll have to wait and see. For those of you who do not know, the nerf looks a little something like this. Our current plan is to make Luna's Hell and Not Forgotten the only 150 rate of fire precision hand cannons. They will maintain some aspects of their current behavior while taking on the firing speed and damage of the 150 rounds per minute hand cannons. Magnificent Howl will also be adjusted so that it increases only body shot damage, resulting in a two headshot, one body shot kill. Magnificent Howl will still give an advantage due to requiring less precision hits for optimal kill time. I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be honest. Anyone who was setting up kills where they were chaining Magnificent Howl back to back to back to back and getting two tap kills, they deserve that. They just do. Not only is that a skill, but it requires being in the right place at the right time and not getting killed yourself. And I think this nerfing of Magnificent Hal has more to do with the mental game of people, people getting really mad because it's potentially possible that they were killed by somebody spamming Luna from headshot to headshot to headshot to headshot to headshot to headshot. To headshot. But the reality is probably not. And by making it so Magnificent Hal only works on a body shot, not only do you destroy any PvE usage of this weapon, but you disincentivize skill. So yeah, I do think that this is pretty heavy handed. Personally, I would have preferred something like making them both exotics. Do you want to use your Luna or Not Forgotten? Do you want to use Chaperone? Do you want to use Wordcliff Coil? By making them an exotic, you start making people make choices about their builds. The other thing they could have done is even the playing field. And when I talk about evening the playing field, I'm not talking about Bungie just going around and buffing all the things. No, that just leads to power creep, and you don't want that, trust me. But Luna's Hell and Not Forgotten are more of a console problem than they are a PC problem. Don't get me wrong, they're probably pretty rampant on PC, but at least on PC, there's competition. You have things like Ace of Spades, Last Word. You have pulse rifles like Bygones, Blast Furnace, go figure. So wouldn't a more appropriate fix be to address recoil and bloom on the console to bring the weapons more in line with functionality? Because the reason Luna's Hal and Not Forgotten are so good is because they don't have Bloom and they don't have a lot of recoil. So people are naturally going to gravitate towards weapons that function well and are powerful. But functionality is more important than power. It's why, in at least my personal experience, you don't see a lot of Ace of Spades on console. Nor do you see a lot of Last Word. Sure, they're powerful, but they handle poorly. Another thing that they could have done is give them the Redrix Broadsword treatment, where Bungie creates a super long grindy quest for Luna's Hal and Not Forgotten, but it doesn't have the competitive rank requirement. That being said, if they make these weapons easier to get, they may need to nerf them anyways, because that's a whole other problem in and of itself. That being said, we are in the reality where they are nerfing these weapons, so maybe they should just give it the Broadsword treatment. Because realistically, once Luna's Hal and Not Forgotten are nerfed, they're not going to be as desirable as they once were. So instead of making them irrelevant by having the rank requirement attached to them, maybe they should, like I said, give them the broadsword treatment. At least then people will have a reason to chase them, or at least a version of them. I think in the future, moving forward, I'd like to see Bungie keep pinnacle weapons interesting, but not the best in slot. In the past, we had exotics like No Land Beyond. More experimental, wouldn't it be cool if X gun existed in the game? But no one would ever accuse No Land Beyond of dominating any given meta. Most of the time, these weapons are neat. And yet, I know there's a portion of the community that would be overjoyed if the next pinnacle weapon was basically legendary No Land Beyond. After all, people have been asking for a pinnacle sniper for a while now. In Destiny, we see a lot of exotics that aren't really exotic. And they never see a lot of use because no one's going to give up their exotic slot to use them. But what if Bungie took these more experimental exotics and instead of making them exotics, made them pinnacle weapons? Good enough and interesting to be desirable, but not good enough to break the game. But hey, those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. And like always, stay frosty.